Hello my fellow party people, today we will be talking about the duo Chiasmos. Chiasmos is a Faroe Wies Icelandic minimal, experimental techno duo, composed of Lavar Arnolds and Janus Rasmussen. Their most famous track on Spotify is Looped. And Blurred. Most of their tracks are labeled at Erased Apes Records. And if you are not deaf, you might have noticed that the tracks both have that piano vinyl sound in it. So that's what we're starting with, let's get into our DAW. Set the BPM around 120 to 122. Once again I use Labs for my piano. I really love that plugin and still cannot believe that it's totally free. Then I added as extra layer the Native Instruments Contact Piano. For the kick I choose a pretty subby and full kick because I thought that in the track loop the kick was pretty punchy too. Usually I wouldn't take such a punchy kick for that genre or style. Then I added that extra kick between the four on the floor, which you can hear in some of the Chiasmos tracks too. They might have used a tom for it but I just cut off the very start of the kick. Then I added that little percussion tom's groove. That was the original before stretching. For the bass I choose a pretty raw bass with a deeper sub bass. It just adds that acoustic sound to it, not too electronic. Then I added another 3 Labs Violina sounds and put them all in the back with the Ambio Orbit by Sennheiser, which is by the way also free. The claps are pretty basic, just two organic sounding claps layered in one placed a little earlier so they don't crush too much with kick and it feels not that robotic. In the background is that little pluck playing which gives the track a little more groove and depth, just with a simple volume automation so it feels like the track is going forward. And that little lady sound with some delay.
Ah uh, not to forget that little VHS crackle sound in the background is a plugin in the Reactor 6 library, just to give the track that little Vinley, experimental analog sound. And actually I had the idea to live stream my next video in which I will produce the next how-to. What do you guys think? Are you interested in seeing how I do my music or should I stick to making videos? Let me know in the comments. liked the video and might have learned something new. If so it appreciate a like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.